Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackYou.com. Today we're going to break down the Alpine Stars SP365 Dry Star Gloves. The SP365 retail for $119.95. As I always tell you, we don't update the videos for pricing changes, only if the product itself has been completely redesigned. Let's jump into sizing first. I wear a 2X in almost every glove out there. That's what I have on right now. And these fit and feel as I would expect for more of a winter glove, okay? When you first put them on, they feel a little bit cumbersome. The more I've worn these in the office, the better they start to feel. With any glove that is winter designed, you're going to have a little more insulation on the back of the hand. That's the part that is exposed to the elements in the wind than you do on the palm, so you have a little more feel. And I definitely noticed that here. We have a combination of leather and soft shell, along with their dry star, windproof, waterproof, breathable membrane. While this isn't quite Gore-Tex, over the years it has proven to be a good, solid option out there. The level of breathability with this product is really pretty good. We've got hard knuckle protector. We have a leather finger bridge. Got some cool screen printing too, some good styling cues on this glove. All right, Good dexterity in the fingers. You can see how they kind of separated the leather here with textile on those two control fingers. Touch screen compatibility with the index finger on both gloves. We have a grip panel here in the palm. We have a motion panel here in the V between the index finger and the thumb. This is something they started doing way back on the race gloves and they brought it over to the rest of the range now. And it really makes the gloves a whole lot more comfortable when you have them on, especially when you have your hands on the bars, little weight on the hands. It allows that area to stretch instead of really pull on the finger and the thumb. Entry and exit, we have a safety strap here at the wrist. Give you an idea of the size of the gauntlet. This isn't a super large gauntlet. We did the WR1 V2 yesterday, and that one has a little bigger gauntlet, a little more insulation. Speaking of insulation, this is going to be good for, you know, colder weather riding. Would I go snowmobiling in this glove? The answer to that is no. But for most people's winter riding, right, in reasonable temps, I think this glove is going to serve you just fine. You can see we're using the leather material here. We have some Clarino here with some foam underneath to help manage impact and abrasion. This is that impact zone. Most of us, when we fall, we're going to put our hands up. It's going to be like that, right? Got a little reflective piping here. All in all, it's a good-looking glove, and at $119, this is a solid winter option. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments section of this video. I answer all that stuff myself, and I'm here to help you all choose the right gear for your next drive.